Hey, Brownie, that's what Richmond are going to try to deny them. Yeah, going to be bold like they have been all season, but at the moment, just territory all in Richmond's favour. Big lovely tap down to Tardrew, quick hands. Husswaite, Allen, back to Husswaite. His brother Henry debuted for the Hawks last week. Kick inside 50 off the hands of Miller. Kruger lurking. Picks up the football, sweeps it forward towards the pocket. Wilson flips to keep it alive. McInnes from the pocket, snaps Garwood, and Collingwood have got there first. They can go around the arc here. Lane to Bianco, preferred user on both sides of the body. That's why. Slams it to Begg. Quite strong hands from Begg. Ralph Smith comes in on Harrison. And now the Pies are away. Through Lane, who delivers inside 50 to Steen. Collingwood absorbed that Richmond heat. He's just got to think his way through. He's got Cumberland leading to the pocket. And really that is outstanding right. forward craft from Cumberland. Yeah, good work rate too, because he was involved in the passage of play. He marked the ball on the wing, gave the handball, lost his direct opponent, just ducked back into space. Beautiful little hook lead into the pocket. Big moment here for Richmond. 17-6 for the season, so he's very much, yes, in the Sharps shooter category. That's dazzling from Noah. Opportunity to set up. So Richmond have arm wrestled this back to some level of parity within the game. The margin is 17. Collingwood goal here really swings the balance in their favour to quarter time. Cooper to Melville. And there's control all of a sudden about the Tigers as you've seen Marks. Break his presence up the, the line is going to be important. 3v2 now, 4v2 in favour of the Tigers, but Ryan and Brindley just cleaned each other up. Kick shallow looking for Carbuckle, oh, slicing through straight to McDonough. An architect by foot normally spaces the kick. Hicks just needs the kind bounce. He gets it now. Steps lane. Gia sneaks it in. Richmond with back-to-back -back majors. Find someone inside 50 again. He'll return to the pocket. Ryan worked his man under a clubber. Had him where he wanted him. There's a pretty smart kick too from Marlon Pickett. He just identified where the, the Ford wanted that ball and put it there and allowed him to do the rest. So the, the height prevailed on that occasion. Been a great year of development for Samson Ryan. 14 AFL games. This is his sixth VFL game. He steps around to kick the opening goal of the second term and does. Good stuff. Can't see him having a full-blooded strike at goal here. Wilson, will he check it up or will he back himself in? He tries to get it and he makes a lot of us. Tom Wilson, bang! Here's an opportunity for him to slot one from right on 50. Can he work it back? No, it's going the other way. Right to the line, almost for Bradkey. They try to keep it alive, do they? McDonough's kicked the goal, it'll stand. Wow. You can see Miller, if he's involved in those aerial contests, he's bigger and got the defensive craft to get the fist on. So Ash Johnson taking up his position inside 50 for the Pies. Great to see in the second term. Husswaite, Tardrew, Kruger, the intended target. Melville cleans it up, bounces it out into space. Coulthard can run onto it, assess his options down the wing. Bradkey gets it and goes. Great acceleration oh, from the big man. Look at him. Looks to run away from Rusko. Could go himself from 40 out. What a goal! <laughs> Plays with a bit of aggression, Bravo, doesn't he? A bit of alpha Bravo. Good to have you back, Brownie. We reach 15 minutes in the second. Melbourne and Sydney in the AFL to follow our game. Carmichael. Ah, Wilson steps back into traffic and through, misses the connection piece with Allen. Ralph Smith is stripped. Richards takes advantage. Off to Tom Wilson, the junior version, looking to emulate senior. It was a guess, a bit of pass, a bit of shoot. Good enough. Oh. Coulthard kicked straight into Richards, who did really well. Murley, Richards. This is that handball game that the Pies want to get going through the middle. Bradkey lost his feet. Ralph Smith, straight, off the back foot. Couldn't find Fire Marlow. That's not where you want to turn the ball over against his Collingwood side, because they'll get run and carry happening now. Jetta. 
Pops it over the top to Draper. He'll swing it to a two-on-one against Murley, who went in the air, but the turnover numbers will count on the deck. Coulthard, Pickett, can pop one over the top. Does now. Ryan, he can go over the top as well. They've got the overlap. Cumberland, left footer, steps inside. Will he go himself? He does go himself and kicks a ripper. Lurking along the boundary line here. Rusko will kick via him. Kruger will get a free fly here. Did enough to mark in front of Bradkey. So it was four goals to two at quarter time in favour of the Pies. It's been four goals to two in favour of the Tigers here in the second. Kruger with a rainmaker. Steen in the front. This from New and it gets to the back and a dangerous spot here for the Tigers. Fumbles its way to Harrison. Now to Wilson. The two Tom share it. Harrison eventually the man to kick. What a game. Collingwood seventh and it's end-to-end -end stuff in the wild card. Bradkey out of the ruck to pick it. 14th touch, straight hand pass was behind for Hicks. Checks it inboard. Pick it again. He's been magic. Assessment. Marlon Pickett, the Norm Goss medalist, giving us a reminder of what he does at the level. Looking for Begg. Spin screen, got a high one from Bravo. Advantage to Husswaite on the outside of his left for McInnes or Johnson. Yeah, perfect start, was it? Quick ball movement. Finds McRae, 16th touch for him coming up. Yeah, he's been huge. Eight, eight tackles in the AFL on Friday night. Just a brilliant performance. Kicks towards Steen, and they're good, strong hands. Steen for a 10-point lead. He's been accurate all year. Adds another, and the Pies make a move early in the third. When Richmond had Collingwood on the rack. Jetta attacks the goal square. Johnson's engaged, but it allows Kruger to fly at the back. They've got some really dangerous propositions up forward if it's so the context of this match is a big one he bends it perfectly pies lead by 17 points marlon pickett after half time such was the damage he was doing but he's he's stuck with his midfielders it's mccray at the moment on him but certainly not a, a hard tag they're just playing head to head the foul heavily into beg lined him up and Good dropped defense. him you love seeing that big saw First the tackle, then the bump. And McKelty LaFowl at 195 centimetres and 100 kilos. When he hits you, you stay hit. Begg goes again. Well played. Great effort from Aiden Begg. Wins the clearance despite all the physical attention. Allen Richards, he'll get a look. He'll swing it goalwards and nail it. Amazing effort. He got hit again with a bump straight after that, and then won the clearance that resulted in that goal to Joe Richards, who kicks inside 50. El Nor versus Johnson, two extremely athletic tools. And it's a 23 point game as it was late in the opening term. The Tigers to do it all again. They kick the first four. Richmond peeled off seven of the next ten, edged their way in front, led by two points at half time. They're yet to score here in the third. The Tigers. Pick it. Hussway. Five in a row for the Pies in the third. Need to get involved. We can, saw what they can do earlier in the game when they get their game going. But right now it is one-way traffic and Hussway delivers to McInnes. Good strong jukes out, uh, out in front there. For his second of the afternoon to keep things rolling for Collingwood. They are taking their chances. Collingwood have got this wild card game by the throat. Oh, get out the abacus. Or even spell it. You see the flags on the outer side of the Swinburne Centre indicating the intensity of that wind that's blowing out of the south. Margin at a game high 35. Carmichael to Beg, who's recovered. Puts it towards Johnson and El Nua. Kruger onto it. He will tow it through. Oh, this is, they're on fire. 
tremendous effort in his second game for the weekend and gets it back now from Wilson. Kruger trying to lengthen the ground. McRae maybe with a channel to goal. Dabs it towards Johnson. What a kick. This has been a special 20 minutes of footy from Collingwood. Johnson unselfishly pops it back in to which Reef McInnes is about to kick. They're getting quite the show in this third. Front row seats. McInnes, he's third. On Richmond's AFL list, we saw him in a television game. Yeah. And that impact certainly then threaded its way all the way through September to the Norm Goss medal in the VFL Grand Final over Williamstown. And then, as we know, six days later, one of the most incredible AFL debuts we've seen. Beck done a great job to recover physically in the quarter. McDonough to Cumberland. LaFowle, who put the hurt on Beg earlier on. Ralph Smith gets another look from a harder spot. And you guessed it. He got it. Oh, no, oh. Roscoe's kept it in on the line. I think it's a goal. He yeah. knew straight away it was a goal. Yeah, it so did the one in Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a goal, a point. 32 minutes gone, 40 point margin. What a quarter of football from the Pies. If they can just kick one more, the Tigers, give them something at three quarter time to go in with. Pickett tries to wriggle free, can't do so. Ryan against Big. Ryan got the tap and went straight to Tardrew. Floats towards half forward. Awkward one for Melville. Sweeping onto it here is Richards. Will it sit for him? He's got a couple of numbers forward of the football. One of them's Tommy Wilson. Great response from Collingwood. Again, it's just from a centre clearance. Kruger tried to get over the top of Miller. Harrison wide for Murley against the boundary across the face. And Richards can defy the sunshine to mark. It's pretty, pretty good ball movement. That nice and patient in the back half. Long down the line, you get your big ruckman to compete and mark the ball in there. Then you put some speed on the footy inside the 450. Austin Johnson was calling this kick might have been touched off the boot. McDonough flicked the hands up straight away, but he's a smart footballer, Cooper Murley, isn't he? he? Knows where his teammates are. Joe Richards, part of the nine goal third quarter. His second is their first of the last. Looks Grace final, wherever that is. Maybe Box Hill City Oval, I've heard a whisper. Werribee, of course, will host a qualifying final. Just great access. You're going to get up close and personal to see some wonderful footy, and that's what we've seen from the pie so far this afternoon. Played the Hawks yesterday, his Kruger. Adds another. He's got four. And vfl.com.au, obviously, all the details on. Who and where next week? I can tell you our broadcast games as Melbourne brings it in board to Bravo. We'll have a double header from midday till 6 p.m. next Saturday afternoon. The two elimination finals. Footscray hosting one, Williamstown the other. Opponents TBC. Collingwood's going to be one of them. Rusco, lovely kick. Oh, He's Wilson, got a man oh. out, Wilson. Bear can pop it over the top. Tom Wilson's just got to stand and wait. Will he go himself? He will. He'll play on. And Waltz in on open goal. Tom Wilson kicks his second. And the Pies are headed for an elimination final. Collingwood side, they, they can hit the scoreboard. Steen out the front again. Kruger looking for the body. Newen got the fist into it. McDonough's still under pressure, as is El Noor. Goes back to McDonough, stretching for it. Melville, pressured kick through the hands of Hicks, but Tadru would overrun it. Now Smith. Al Noor tried to step Ashwin. Ralph Smith does the same on Tardrew and Street just had the height advantage on Husway to Melville. Tigers still trying to run at this game, but the Pies up to the task defensively. Again on turnover, they've got men everywhere. Draper, Harrison, Richards. This. Free kick. Kruger who'd slipped marks while still on the ground and Beg tries to boot it into oblivion. Street handball cut off Bianco. McRae still going to the final bell. He's got it again here. Goes to 50. Chips it over the top. Oh, Bianco he goes down and takes another mark. He's been impressive. They're running, they're creating, and they're enjoying their footy. 20 year old in his third year in the Collingwood program, originally out of North Ringwood. Starting to come of age. Jaden Begg, he's got three. Do they not usually play the. No, oh, not until after, after the, the last kick. kick. Wow. Well, 
We do things differently here in the VFL. Beggs kick misses left, and it's the Magpies who survived the VFL's first wildcard game. Collingwood ends Richmond's season. The Pies headed for an elimination final next week.